Hey peeps, how you doing and happy new year and uh, welcome to one of my videos. Yeah, just a quick one today to say hi, but I want to show you a couple of things um, around London that I think you might be interested in. It's mostly based on shafts. So if you're into shafts, this is the video for you, sunken shafts, yeah? I want to show you a few things. This is Savile Row in the West End and there's something down here yeah, so Savile Row, known for its tailors, so if you want to do, uh, get a man to run up your leg, this is the place you'd come. But just along here is something very interesting, I think. Oh, here it is. This is the top secret headquarters of the Kingsman. Yeah. You see, did you think it was a film? Because really, it was a documentary. Them free they've done free, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Some of you may know that if you uh, go in there, in the, in the uh, Kingsman uh, tailors there, um, you just got to hang your coat up on the wrong hook and you end up plummeting down on a shaft. Yeah, so <laughs> there's a surprise. But yeah, the tunnels and all that that zoom you around the world, they're all real. Yeah, uh, as you see. I, yeah. But I had a good comment, um, well, they're all good, but I had a comment about uh, World War II bomb sites and that. So, uh, oh dear, they blocked that off. I used to be able to go through there. That used to be nice. Anyway, now, <laughs> I had a comment about World War II uh, bomb sites. And do I know any? Well, yeah, I do. But I want to show you something even better than that, yeah? So let's go there now. <laughs> Ooh, look at that horse. I have to be sensible when there's horses. They don't really have a choice, do they? <laughs> there's one bird in the back there with a the phone out doing Instagram. Oh, it's all marvellous, isn't it, in jolly old London? <laughs> So here we are, this is Holborn, right? Big long wide road, isn't it? That's the Prudential building, lovely lot of bricks there. Now underneath here, there's the Central Line tube station, but also there was built in 1940, a sort of underground city, uh, big enough to hold about eight and a half thousand people. Now it's supposed to be between 100 and 200 feet deep and it runs in two tube tunnels that were dug slightly underneath the central line going east to west along Holborn here for about half a mile so they really are huge and uh, it's got quite a history so in 1940 London was getting blitzed by the Germans and they decided they needed about I don't know eight huge tunnels and usually for underground bunkers this one has had about four different entrances and one of the entrances was on the tube station I think it was Chancery Lane tube station on the platform but in the end that was sealed up permanently um, so we're going to find a two of the uh, existing entrances today and one of them is supposed to be along here I've gone past it we're nipped down here here's the entrance Da, 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 da. There it is. I'm getting a bit rusty on these things. Good job I've got my push bike. I mean, a bike that's light enough to push. That, Transfer Station House, is a bit of a giveaway because, yes, originally that used to be uh, the tube station entrance, uh, but they couldn't get a, I think it was an escalator down at the right angle, so they moved uh, eastwards down there or something to uh, open up a new station. But here we are, forward place. Oh, it's spooky, isn't it? So this is where you would have got in, or one of the entrances. This particular entrance has lifts in it, um, which I think they can still work. Um, 
but as you see this door along here has been boarded up because I think a couple of urban explorers they made a lovely uh, YouTube video showing you what's down there but they since uh, shuttered that one up <laughs> but yeah now I'll show you the other entrance which is the big goods entrance now when it got completed and that the sort of blitz had ended and they decided not to use it to uh, help the public uh, hide away uh, so what happened was uh, what happened a public records office I think took it over for a bit and stored all the records the public records office was in Chancery Lane round here and they shipped all the uh, records out when war started and then they brought them back <laughs> when um oh we have to go around here just for quickness i'm going to wheel it across here here we are Furnival street this is the street we want to be in and just around here should be yeah this is Cook's court now this building is quite new and it's built on one of the old entrances to the underground town yeah which is they tapped it off and of course it can't be used anymore but this is Tooks Court and just around the corner is uh, the goods entrance to the underground town all top secret it was uh, look at this mini cab he's got to be lost <laughs> oh dear <laughs> now let's show you this building uh, 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 there it is Oh, they've taken the uh, little swing out crane off of I think I've got a photograph to show you but this building here pretty dire looking <coughs> yeah this is all wonderful and still got working lifts and this is where the public records office got in all the lorry loads of it's like 400 tons or something of records which were all stored down there for a, well, a good good few while until the GPO at the time wanted to take it over and use it as a telephone exchange uh, during the Cold War uh, that was going on so it became a huge telephone exchange and whenever they would show anybody of importance around because ordinary people couldn't get in they would say um, and it was true this is where uh, President Eisenhower was at the time had his telephone line used to come through this exchange and then go and get connected to the Kremlin um, where they can speak the direct hotline so it's quite important you can just see the old things where the anchor was so I wonder why they took it down maybe maybe it was dangerous or something it was mostly men that worked there about 200 staff the only three women that worked down there worked in the canteen used to have this canteen which still does um, with fake windows on it a couple of fake windows with the most ghastly uh, pictures of a lake and that <laughs> what went wrong with the GPO was um, an STD came along and uh, that basically wiped them out that was subscriber trunk dialing uh, yeah. oh not a sexually transmitted disease no subscriber trunk dialing basically you do it yourself so they could do away with a lot of the old equipment and then afterwards uh, for a little while it became um, the CCTV cameras of London they had the control room down there I think and they had Icarus the government computer thing uh, but now it's empty and I think um, in 2008 BT who run the place put it on the market and they're still trying to sell it but the big problem with it is is fire escapes because there's now I think only the two entrances um, although it can keep a lot of people in there they can't get out very quickly that's the problem but another fun thing was uh, the version of MI6 or, or, or what is now GCHQ I think anyway they took it over um, but they, it was like their Q wing you know James Bond has this gadget manufacturer thing well they they had a little branch down there uh, of uh, the, the MI6 lot um, and they were down there while they were waiting for their own bunker to be built under Whitehall yeah so all sorts of fun things have gone on down there yeah well on that bombshell I'm going to say cheerio for now thank you for ever, ever so much for watching this little uh, catch up video uh, I hope you got something out of it look at that bloody U-turning minicab oh they're hateful aren't they 
Uh oh, look at this, a Kia! Uh. Anyway, I'm going to say cheerio for now. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope you come back and watch another one of my videos at some point. Now then, oh look, oh, look at that Prius. Okay. Ah, I'll bully it. I, bu I do bully Priuses. <laughs> now, where can I get a coffee? All oh, bagel bars full up. Bruno's not open. And of course, pickles on toast while well, I look. You've really got to catch them on the right day of the month for when they're open, you know. This is one of the old shafts, Iron Mountain, the Eisenhower Centre. See? I wasn't making it up. That's where Eisenhower had his uh, sort of bunker uh, back in the wall. So that's what one of them uh, used to be used for. It's now owned by a document storage company, as you see, called uh, Iron Mountain now. If you know about Iron Mountain, <laughs> you might know the significance of that. Uh, document <laughs> yeah